Dr. Yamani, thank you so much for being with us. You had a presentation at the Retinal World Congress called Flanged Intraocular Lens Fixation. Yeah. Can you overview your presentation? Yes, uh, my presentation is uh, about the secondary IOL uh, implantation surgery. I developed a new technique for secondary IOL implantation. Uh, Frangial fixation means I made a flange of haptic flange to fix the haptic into the square tunnels. Our new technique um, is a minimally invasive way because uh, it is a transconjunctival surgery and using a 30 gauge needle because uh, we use a 30 gauge needle that is a very um, small incision. We use 30 ne gauge needle to externalize the haptic of the IOL and ha externalized haptic was cauterized by an uh, uh, ophthalmic cautery to make a flange of a haptic. Then the flange is pushed back into the square tunnel and f well fixed. That is a very less invasive and perfect uh, wound sealing and good IR fixation. Do you find that it's a difficult procedure? A, a lot of retinal specialists may not even use 27 gauge. Um, do you find that there's any resistance? Yes, and if, in fact there is a learning curve, uh, but I think um, many retinal surgeons can, can do this surgery. The te technique needs uh, three key points, have three key points. The most important thing is the uh, positional relationship of the wounds and the wounds for IOL insertion and needle, needle insertion is uh, upper cache symmetry and 90 degree is appropriate. And second point is and uh, use two needles. The leading haptic keep inside the first needle during a uh, trailing haptic um, insert to the second needle. And the last point is the insertion angle of the needle. Um, the haptic uh, fixed in the scleral square tunnel, so I must made the tunnel, two tunnels, perfectly opposite side and incision must be parallel. What would you say is the main take-home point for the retinal specialist? Is this something that they might adopt? Is, is this something that they could learn from? This is a very new technique, but many sur surgeons should try. So this is a very uh, small incision and a less invasive way and can achieve a good fixation of IOL.